Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Joker film. So, I feel like recently I've done so many Joker videos, but I'm super excited to talk about what I'm going to talk about today. All the photos are from Just Jared, so all rights go to them. I don't own any of these images. Go check out the link in the description below. You can check out all the other photos and also follow them on Twitter. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC videos later this year. So I plan on making loads of Joker videos as we head towards this film because this is in fact my number one most anticipated DC film in the next coming years. I'm so excited for Whacking Phoenix as the Joker and we've got new photos and new video. So I'll leave the link in the description below to the video. Obviously I'm not going to show it in this video just in case but we're going to talk about the photos from Just Jared and oh my god this looks epic. I can't wait. Whacking Phoenix looks brilliant as the Joker. This totally gives me Heath Ledger, Cesar Romero vibes like a mix between both and I love it. I love the green hair very he Fletcher obviously and the makeup is extremely sinister it is horrifying imagine you were there as a member of the public perhaps this was real life and you saw that you would be terrified he looks absolutely great I love this makeup I think the makeup will become more refined by the end of the film but this looks epic I can't wait this is a new version we're gonna see it reminds me of multiple different versions which I think is good that it reminds you of other versions but also takes a new spin on it and in the video you can see he is causing chaos and this is obviously in Gotham City but they were shooting at the Bronx subway station in New York, so obviously a lot of people were able to get photos because it's a public place. Obviously, they just cornered it off and had loads of extras. But look at this photo. He has a gang of people wearing clown masks, very similar to how they started off The Dark Knight with the heist scene with them in clown masks, and I think this is brilliant. This is so extremely creepy, them just huddled up all in a row at the window, them causing chaos in the background, even summer in makeup if you can see that which is kind of crazy you know all chaos is breaking loose whilst the joker cracks up this is truly joker like and i'm so excited look at Joaquin phoenix he's having so much fun he's fully into that character you know there's just so much potential here and i'm so excited i love the makeup you can see this photo is specifically extremely sinister with him looking down and I have to say his clothing really reminds me of the likes of Cesar Romero. He's going to be a failing comedian in this film and Cesar Romero was a comedian when he played the Joker in the 1966 film and obviously the TV show and I was brought up watching that. Yes, I'm not that old, but my dad was brought up watching it, so we watched it all together when I was growing up, so this excites me so much as Cesar Romero is one of my favourite Jokers after Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger's brilliant, so just the combination of these two Jokers and also combining Joaquin Phoenix's performance as a brilliant actor just so excites me because I'm a massive Joaquin Phoenix fan. If you guys haven't seen You Were Never Really Here recently, he is fabulous. Also, he's got the Sisters Brothers coming out and that is getting great reviews out of the film festival. So this guy is a top-notch actor. You should be on the lookout. Definitely get hyped for this because this looks awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. He doesn't make us strong. He doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shy.